All right, Alex, uh, first things first, uh, you know, for you, uh, take us through a bit of your, your history. Obviously, uh, you know, you're a local guy sort of thing. Uh, you know, what, take us through the ranks for you at hockey and kind of uh, how things kind of came about to, to get to this point now. Yeah, so uh, I started in uh, minor Adam, obviously, and uh, I played AAA uh, all the way through to major midget. And I was drafted in, uh, in minor midget. Uh, so the minor midget draft to the Oshawa Adrenals in the 12th round. And uh, from there, I, uh, I, played, I played major midget. Um, and then I'm at the point where right now and, and uh, playing junior B. Now, obviously, for, for those uh, kind of situation, you, you've, you've been in that uh, jersey before, I believe, as, as an AP, uh, just the one sort of thing. So it isn't completely brand new. But um, yeah, yeah. What, what, is the, what was the, the key kind of differences you saw between the two levels? And then, um, you know, now that you're kind of making this uh, the, the jump up sort of thing, what do you, uh, what do you feel is going to be you – know, how much did that kind of that AP chance kind of help you get a better understanding of, uh, of the junior B level? Yeah, so uh, obviously, you know, when I AP'd, um, I get all, like right away, I noticed a difference with the speed and the physicality and stuff. But, um, you know, in, in major midget and even in, in, in the Oshawa camp, um, it, it was similar to similar speed, similar, um, similar plays and stuff like that. And uh, no, I'm hoping to make the, the transition nicely and, uh, and, and easily. So. Now being a local guy sort of thing, uh, you know, and especially guys who get drafted into the OHL, they're looking to impress that next level. And that's kind of the whole idea of the junior B level is to kind of get some experience and then potentially move up sort of thing. But, um, you know, take us through uh, what you're feeling of, uh, you know, your motivation, I guess, at this point for, for making the move to the national sort of thing. Is it to kind of take that, obviously, the next available level and then and hopefully to, uh, to impress the, the OHL ranks kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the plan. Um you know, like just, just to try and play as high as I can. Right. Um, jun you know, junior B is, is the nationals are a great team and a great organization, but uh, at the end of the day, the end goal is, is to definitely make the OHL. Take us through your style. Cause obviously this day and age, uh, you know, and you know, everybody has their, their own version. It doesn't even matter. Uh, yeah. You know, we, we, we see, we've seen, you know, defensemen that play like forwards. Uh, we've seen, you know, forwards who, you know, maybe should play defense sort of thing. The only thing that says yeah. Yeah. usually goaltenders and even they change a little bit. Uh, take us through your style of the game. Yeah. So I'm i uh, I'm, I'm a uh, stay at home defenseman, but uh, um, you know, let's say if, if we're down by one or down by two, and the chances there, then I'll, I'll definitely take the puck and, and rush. So I'm kind of like a two-way almost, um, but when needed to be. And then obviously take us through your time in that, uh, you know, and I know with the, the way this team operates sort of thing, there's always seems to be year over year, there's a lot of involvement from that, the Junior Knights organization, um, you know, whether it be from, you know, guys moving up from, uh, you know, not, now we call it the, the U16 and the U18 side of things, obviously for a while called yeah. minor midget and the midget level. Um, talk about your experience uh, with the Junior Knights organization. Uh, yeah, they're, they're uh, an amazing organization, great organization. Um, this year with the, uh, the major midget, uh, I, was, I was coached by Brian Dobbin. And, uh, you know, he treated us like a junior B team. And we worked our butt off. And uh, we ended up going to the, the finals, the Alliance finals against the Waterloo, uh, the Waterloo Wolves. Um, but due to um, COVID-19, obviously, uh, things had to get shut down. But, yeah, no, we, we had a great year. And uh, he worked us hard. It was, it was a great year overall, for sure. And, and obviously the, the aspect of you know, the Western Fair being no uh, unfamiliar location sort of thing, uh, you know, how much is it just kind of, uh, are you just going to have the mentality right now of, you know, instead of, uh, instead of coming into the fair and, and taking a right, or if you come in the, uh, the lower entrance, you just keep walking straight. Now you'll come in the, the upper entrance and just hang a right a little bit. To, it's it's got probably going to be a similar mentality sort of thing, right? For sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what do you like? What are you looking forward to? I know a lot of the times you're not playing on that Olympic ice pad too, too much. Sometimes you here and there sort of thing, but is, is that going to be uh, a change for you kind of, uh, you know, making that move or is it uh, as a defenseman, you'll just kind of adapt as you go kind of thing? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll definitely adapt as I go um, with the, with the major major team uh, every, every Monday night, I believe we were, uh, we were on the, we were on the Olympic ice. So um, yeah, you know, I, I played my games there. And uh, with the Nationals, I'm sure I'll, I'll adapt to, to the, uh, the ice size for sure. 
Uh, how different is it going to be, you know, usually in, you know, the environment you've been in the last few years and kind of coming up through the ranks, you're, you're in your own age bracket, maybe within a, a year or two sort of thing. Uh, how much do you see the difference just to with the, the, the four or five year age gap and, and obviously the, the bigger bodies kind of thing? Is that going to be an adjustment factor or something that you kind of look forward to? Yeah, it'll, it'll, I'm, I'm obviously looking forward to it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of a bigger, a bigger guy. Um, and, you know, obviously playing against 19, 20 year olds, it'll be, it'll be a great experience and, and just great overall. So. And then obviously I know everybody's obviously in that kind of the unknown factor right now, as we sit in the summer sort of thing, but uh, you know, how much are you just simply looking forward to this opportunity in the fall and to kind of get back at it sort of thing. Cause I'm sure everybody's kind of itching a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sure everyone is, but uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped to get back on the ice and, you know, back to the normal routine of, of practicing and going like that and stuff like that. But uh, no, in the off season, you know, I've been, I've been training, working hard. Um, I've been doing some construction sites here, here and there. So um, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm super pumped to get back and uh, excited to start the season. Alrighty, sir. Appreciate uh, a few minutes of your time on this. And uh, I know there's still all kinds of stuff to get sorted out, but uh, you know, the, uh, when uh, training camp comes around, uh, I'm sure uh, Nats fans will be excited to see you out there. For sure. Thank you very much.